Now to that eyewitness news exclusive and a big development tonight. Within the last hour, police say they arrested a 27-year-old cab driver in a hit-and-run accident that critically injured a young man. Investigators accused Mohammed Azam of running over a man after an argument about a fare. The man's friends told their story only to eyewitness news reporter Kimberly Richardson. He's my best friend. We were baptized together on the same day. So seeing him in here is just... Joe Latke struggles to tell me what happened, how his childhood friend Anthony Loretto ended up in intensive care fighting for his life here at New York Presbyterian Hospital. The men say they hailed a cab at around 4 this morning here at the corner of 53rd and 6th. I told the taxi driver to the Bronx and he let us in and then we go in there and then he says, oh, only taking you two blocks. The men say he pulled over and the group began to argue, Frank telling the driver it's against the law to refuse to take them to the Bronx. So I said we all have cash on us. You know, it's not, we have like, you know, even if we have credit cards with everything, we weren't going nowhere. He was like, oh, well, I'm going to make, make no money on it. And I was like, I, I told him, like, listen, buddy, you're going to the Bronx, we're going to give you a good tip. Just get, get us home. Frank says he called 911. Everyone was still in the car when the men say the cabbie suggested they drive the short distance to the precinct. I was happy because I knew that he was wrong. So, I mean, I knew, I knew the cops were going to do the right thing and, and tell him, and they did. Once here at Midtown North, the group, including the driver, went inside. Anthony waited out front. The men told several officers what happened and say police instructed the driver to take the group to the Bronx. But they say when they came outside, the driver got into the cab, locked the doors, and hit the gas pedal, aiming right for them. Luckily, I was able to grab onto the hood. My friend Anthony was not was not. So when the taxi driver was speeding, eventually he hit the brakes. My friend Anthony f flew off. I eventually fell off as well, but my friend Anthony fell off and got knocked unconscious. Frank says the cabbie kept on going, even with police watching. As for Anthony, his skull is fractured, but tonight his friends are by his side. In Midtown, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. And late tonight, City Council Transportation Committee Chair James Vaca released a statement saying, in part, quote, I am tired of hearing about cab drivers who refuse to leave Manhattan when passengers are entitled by law to a ride anywhere in the five boroughs. This is truly the straw that broke the camel's back.